thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. It's 2021, and by now we all know you can't always access everything on the internet from anywhere in the world. Best Ever Food Review Show relies on NordVPN, enabling our team to browse the internet freely with no restrictions no matter where we're located. With NordVPN, your data is protected anywhere you go with usage of up to six simultaneous connections. NordVPN gives you access to over 5,200 super fast servers in 59 countries with no data logging. Through double data encryption, you can unlock Netflix or any of your favorite entertainment websites sites that use geo-blocking. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to compromise on privacy. With NordVPN's NordLynx technology, you get faster, secure connections with the CyberSec suite, which even doubles as an ad blocker. If this sounds too good to be true, NordVPN promises a 30-day money-back guarantee. Just go to nordvpn.com slash besteverfood or use code besteverfood to get a two-year plan with a huge discount plus an additional month free. Now, on to the show. We're at your ostrich farm right now. How many ostriches do you have here? Oh! In today's meaty, steak-filled world, some animal parts get overlooked. Penis is good? This series is an homage to the offcuts. Body parts that in the West might get thrown in the trash. The broth is great. The noodle is great. How could the tail not be great? Last time, we discovered tasty brains. I asked for boneless. I got some <laughs> skull fragments. And now, it's all about having a little heart. Growing up, I ate a lot of chicken heart. Did you? Well, it's probably cheap. Today, we're on a hero's mission, showing that these underrated animal parts have the power to rise above. What's great about the heart is it's just a pure muscle. It's super dense. It has its own texture that's different from any other cut. Four foods, four chefs, cooking up dishes that are not just tolerable, oh my God. but crave-worthy and delicious. It makes them more holy. So how will they do it? Let's find out. Let's go. 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 Breakfast today is a bit rough. It started by taking a bite of me first. Oh, dude, those are fingers. Ostrich. It's our first animal candidate of the day. You want a hug? What about, oh, you guys can sit? But before dining, it's polite to get to know your dinner guest. So far, it feels like my childhood, a lot of rejection. Calvin, I'm trying to give one of these a hug. I'm so lovable. This is Calvin, entrepreneur, chef, bar owner, and my eating partner in today's video. Hey, y'all want to swipe right? This one's making eye contact. Let's hug. Here we go, buddy. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. If you didn't know, ostrich is a fairly commonly eaten protein source around the world, and the animals themselves are raised on farms just like this. Are these full grown? <laughs> 10 months, he says. This is the correct age for them to slaughter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, get out of here. Psst. Get out of here. Kai, are you okay? Okay. Well, that's why you signed the waiver. Ten years ago, Mr. Nam left a prestigious cow milking career and made a gamble, betting on these flightless birds. Now, his farm is home to 400 ostriches at any given time. Why did you make the change? He said the risk level is zero. Really? Easy to raise. No steroids. No hormone injection. 100% organic. Profitable. There's a higher value in ostrich meat right now than it is for milk. Ostrich farming in Vietnam is becoming more and more popular. I've eaten this beauty of a bird before. I feel like a caveman. But I've never tried an ostrich heart. How big is an ostrich heart? <laughs> That's pretty big. Is it yummy? Because an ostrich is such low cholesterol, everything is delicious. <laughs> These hearts are served up in quaint countryside drinking spots. Want some wings to go with it? They can make that happen. Thank you so much. Let's eat. That's it, super short. <laughs> Gadoy Restaurant, a place specializing in all things ostrich. This is an ostrich heart. Is this about what you expected? I thought it was gonna be gigantic. I think we should weigh it right now and then find out. Yeah. One kilo, my ASS. We came here expecting a two pound heart. We got a one pound heart. I'm not disappointed. Not at all. Oh no, I am disappointed. The heart's not as big as I expected, but it's still big enough to be made into two different dishes. In the list of popular items, where does the heart rank in? Team number one. Out of the list of one to 10, heart. Six number six. And that's why we're here. That's why we're here. <laughs> First, grilled ostrich heart. Half of the heart is cubed and seasoned with ginger, shallots, and chilies. Skewer the heart. Why do people like the heart so much? Warm up the charcoal. <laughs> grill for seven minutes exactly. An ostrich only has one heart. Talk about YOLO, right? Yeah. Ostrich has one heart. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm ending this interview. 
Thank you. It smells of garlic. Let's try it out. Mm. I can't believe that's number six on the list. This should be number two or one. I would say number one. Oh my god. That texture is so buttery. It's like a well marbled filet mignon. I find it to be more like dense and just have like a really fun chew. And it's lean, right? I mean, ostrich is the most leanest meat out there. There was some fat on that heart. You saw the heart, right? There was. It was really fatty on the outside. Mine probably looks like that. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't tried this until now. I had to come way out in the freaking country in the middle of nowhere to a random drinking restaurant to try this. It is like the Wagyu of ostrich hearts. So now we know we're working with a good ingredient. Here, the stir fry. Seasoned cubes of ostrich heart, stir fried with garlic. Add some onion and carrot, stir it about. Add something green in the form of celery, stir some more, and serve. Let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers. That's yummy, simple, peppery. It is still soft and buttery, but you definitely do taste that minerally livery flavor to it. A slight amount, but not too much. It's not gamey or anything. What is this part? Is that like an artery? It looks like squid, but it is not. Maybe it is squid. Hey, do they put squid in here? Nope. It tastes like squid. Same rubberiness, same mild flavor. I like the texture. It's like crunching on Captain Crunch. Oh, here's another one, a blood valve. It's similarly chewy, but it tastes better. Here, try this one. How are you gonna feed me? No, I'm not. That's so meaty. It's such a deep, rich flavor. I've had ostrich before. I loved all the meat. I did not have the heart. So having the heart alone, it deserves its own platter, its own day in the sun. But not in the literal sun, because it'll rot, and that would be disgusting. Put her there. You look really sharp. I'm feeling a bit underdressed. This well-groomed goat enthusiast is the owner of two goat restaurants. Oh, there's a goat statue over here, too? Is that the goat from Shrek? Here they specialize in this underrated protein, turning every body part into a plate full of yum. How big is a goat heart? Around here. Around a fist. That's pretty big. That's a filet mignon size. Today, we'll take down a two-course goat-themed meal. When I eat the goat heart, how is it gonna help me? First up, the goat heart. And as a bonus, the kidneys are sliced up. That um and it makes them more horny. Sorry, what? They saute garlic in a hot pan. Throw in the well-seasoned heart and kidney. Then hit it with some carrot, onion, and celery. You'd say it's an aphrodisiac. And then we don't get demonetized. Okay. A man eating goat. It's an aphrodisiac. So it gets you horny. Now I messed it up. Make sure it's all evenly slathered, then send it to our eating seat. This is goat heart, but they threw in kidney as well. For texture, for medicinal, they had them laying around. So yeah, throw it in. I think that's all it was. <laughs> ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Cheers. Mm. Interesting texture, because it's not only gelatinous, but it does have a little bit of spring to it. Your piece was gelatinous, mine is just meaty and dense. I like that they cut it kind of thin, so it's easier to chew through. It absorbs these sauces beautifully. It's a little sweet, a little salty. Can you describe the sauce better than me? The sauce is, the sauce, uh, time to the sauce. Well, if you can, just say no. <laughs> <laughs> Our second dish is packed with nutrition. It starts with a broth prepared by simmering nine traditional medicinal herbs and goat bones for two hours. Then the goat hearts take the plunge into this bubbling hot tub and to the table they go. Oh, this is great, dude. They have entire hearts. We gotta get him back here. Don't put your fist right here. <laughs> Small one. I believe there are two hearts, so we're both gonna be able to have some. I think we should do it like an old school vampire. I wanna eat a whole goat heart. Let it cool down, right? We're vampires, but we gotta be safe still. Three, two, two one. Oh, it's shot in my mouth. Wow. Oh my god. Mm. This tastes so much more intricate than the stir fry did. It has this metallic taste to it. There's a bit of iron from the blood. It's dense, meaty, irony. I, it's juicy. Why do you have a big dark part? Coagulated blood? Is it really? A natural blood cake from the blood that was still trapped in the heart. It, it sounds weird, but there's hints of vanilla in my blood cake. Oh my god, you got blood all over you. Oh! 
our mission of eating animal hearts from around the world has brought us here. Thank you for being on my little internet show. My pleasure, likewise. Mr. No Riyahi was a chef in Morocco. Now he presides over Marrakesh Riyadh restaurant, an eatery serving the flavors of his homeland. What would you say are the top three animal proteins eaten in Morocco? Beef, lamb, and uh, goat. Another is camel. Camel? Yes. Oh. Are we eating camel today? We don't have camel here. It's probably hard to import, huh? But I know a guy who knows a guy. You do not. Morocco is a North African country. Because of its unique geography, Moroccan cuisine is an incredible blend of flavors from around the world. Spicy, herbaceous, sweet, and savory. Today we're gonna have the beef heart. The preparation starts with this gigantic heart of a cow being cut into thick slices. How often is heart eaten in Morocco? If guys, they like to go out and they have some barbecue. These slices are grilled rare and seasoned with salt and pepper. What do you say to people who are afraid to try these internal organs? Try it at least one time. Everything in life, you should try once. Yeah. You like can. drugs, you know? If you never try it... I, I don't think drugs is, no. is like before. Remove from the fire and proceed to cube the meat. Then the actual magic occurs. Each cube gets wrapped in call fat, skewer, and grilled again. We call marbleization to give it nice, rich taste. Right. So you're bringing the fat to the party, like when I go to a party. The party don't start till Sunny walks in. Now they're seasoned with cumin and plated with an extra pinch of salt and pepper to go with it. The traditional Moroccan bread and sweet mint tea. This is a ton of food, not even one whole cow heart. One cow heart can feed a family of... 62? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He's put cow fat on there. Once you net a protein in cow fat and you grill it, the cow fat then disintegrates and then it gets these little char bits. The way you're actually supposed to eat it is with the bread. What's it called? Uh, what's this bread called? <laughs> Bad wood. I'm oh, sorry, what? Bad wood. How dare you? <laughs> What'd you call me? Making this unpronounceable bread is simple. The dough is a mixture of flour, salt, and dried yeast. After the dough rests for 45 minutes, it's cooked up and served hot. You peel off a little bit, open it up, then you Grab the piece you want. Why do I also love all the piece in the middle? I suggest, <laughs> I suggest an end piece. Give it a smell. Uh -huh. So it's nice and charred, smoky, and meaty. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Call fat makes it so juicy, though. Mm. This is not a multi-dimensional flavor. Salt, smoke, fat. All turned up to 11. That char just permeates through the sinuses. Mm. I imagine opening a smoker right now putting my head inside, closing it for six hours at 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is the char that I taste right now. Yeah, you would be dead. But if I wasn't, this seems like a good social food. A bunch of skewers, a bunch of friends, and mint tea. Mint tea. Shall we? We shall. Clink. Oh. That's like a mojito without alcohol. A warm one. <laughs> so I was kind of looking for the balance here. I'm like, oh, there's no yogurt. There's, yeah. there's a couple herbs here, but not really. And then I think this is it. This is our palate cleanser. I'm ready for more bites. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let go. Let go. I said, let go. Oh, go me. Well, I didn't know anything until I was. Oh my gosh. What a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. You have amazing teeth. Sorry, it's just hard to look at you because of the teeth. Miss Hua started this place only four months ago, but she's quickly gained a great reputation thanks to her unique culinary invention. Steamed blood with assorted pig organs. How did you come up with this recipe? She loves creating. She has no culinary background. She one day wanted to have this and she created it. The food here is so tasty that her place is always packed. In fact, she's crushing it so hard Copycats using the same name have already sprung up next door. Do you want me to go talk to them? I will provide them with stern words. No. No? No? no. Yeah. Check yes. out this. <laughs> oh! OnlyFans.com backslash Sunny's muscles move. Does it bother you that they're there? I like it. Abundance mentality. Don't worry about them. Let's focus on what's happening right here. Time to put the dish together. It starts with assorted organs, including plenty of pig heart. Is there anything special about this organ in particular, or is it just tasty? When customers order, the organs are tossed in a bowl. They're the same. What you eat helps that organ. If you eat a lot of heart, it'll make your heart good. What brings it all together is her homemade broth, a perfect dish for a rainy day. This is a Vietnamese dish neither of us have ever tried before. There's some ginger on top, but underneath, it's just a very rich broth with just tons and tons of layers of different animal parts. I think we should start with some broth. One, two, three. 
it really warms your inside. This is like chicken soup for the soul. Pink soup for the soul. Sweet, peppery, gingery. Consistency and the flavors are just really well balanced. Let's take it away with the blood. So we have some coagulated blood. It's not sexy, but I bet it tastes good. Cheers. So minerally, and it's so savory, but very tender. The, yeah. the, the mouthfeel, like a tofu silk. It's just floating in your mouth. I think we should try to find a heart. This is pancreas. What do you think this is? An Adam's apple. This is the brain. She didn't mention brain. We got a special dish. Nice. This has got to be heart. Very dense and very thinly sliced. You can even see, I was going to say the, 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 the riches in there, but you can't. Sorry. Uh, thanks for wasting my time, Calvin. Welcome. Out of all the other hearts we've had, that's such a different consistency. It's kind of hard. In this soup, it's a little bit dry, but I think that makes it work because it's with all these other... Components. 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 Oh my god, Calvin, you complete me. Aww. If I was the mf -er who stole this idea and opened up my own place, I don't think I could deconstruct this recipe. Out of all the hearts we've had, it definitely is different. This was delicate. This is a very complex broth. We could try to explain it to you guys, but it's probably way too complex, so just don't even try. Too complex. Yeah, it's too complex. Complex. If there's a more simple broth next time, we'll break that down for you. That's not... Today we ate four hearts made by four different chefs. Right now, I want to know which was your favorite. My favorite out of all four of them has to be the ostrich heart. The texture was so amazing. Was... But you know what? I really have a thing about ostrich. I mean, I like it. Are you attracted to them physically? No. My favorite, the pig heart, inside that beautiful bowl of organs, it spoke to my soul, it settled my tummy, it brought me inner peace. Dang good. There's only one way to turn flavor up to 11. MSG. It's gotten a bad rep for too long. It's time we normalize MSG. Get your shirt today. Link, description, go. Look at me. Because that guy was walking that way. I know, here. How do we call it a, a crocodile? <laughs> really? I thought it was a... Like, err, err. Oh. Eh, eh, eh. We're having a nice hug. We're having a nice hug. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, hold on. He's, he's ready. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready. Oh. oh my God. Oh, there it is. Oh, someone just ordered chicken. What's in the bag? More Bye. chickens. Bye, buddy. That chicken's about to have a bad day. I know. Oh, back to the heart. If the demand went up, why? Demand. Economics, high school, failure, detention, <laughs> grounded, summer school. It would be hard to meet the demand. Location two, eating scene, take one. Oh, <laughs> Location two, eating scene, take one. No, take two, I was gonna say. Location two, eating scene, take three. Calvin. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be really hot. I'm already eating it, oh. dude. Do you feel any different after eating this heart? I feel smarter. Oh wait, that was a brain episode. I, no. We're only on screen friends. Like We're enemies. This. Not a big fan. Okay. It's the mustache for me. You're just staying a little close for now. Hmm? You're staying a little close. It's for the camera. Boom! Guys, another fun food video. This time with my buddy Calvin. You can find him on Instagram.com following what you see on the screen right now. Gentlemen, Please only send him polite DMs. And Please. Don't ask for nudes. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. Ready? Well, I mean, that's a lot of blood today. I Let's mean, go eat some more animal parts. I, I love this. No, the awful.